Panda, panda, panda. I got broads in Atlanta. She's a dolly in the family. Credit card. Hey, yo, guys, what's popping? My name is Pandan Jadav, and today we are back with a new vlog, with a new set. This is the Indian flag, this is the Maratha flag, and let's start with this vlog. But before starting with this vlog, I want to give some respect for what happened uh, in the YouTube headquarters because it was kind of. You know, heart touching because whatever happened, if you do not know, um, there was some shooting happened at the YouTube headquarters again, some again somewhere in America and I think something should be done with this by the American government. <laughs> Cross fingers, but let's start with this vlog today. Um, before starting again, I want to tell you one thing that today I was not in any mood of... Um, vlogging i had time because uh last week i haven't dropped any vlog so i was a bit upset for that as well but today i had time but i had no uh you know that will to do a vlog but then my my morning was very you know uh kind of sad i was very um no, I had no mood to do that. But then I get a call from a friend who had a very bad mood. And just by seeing me, uh, that friend of mine um, got a smile on that face. So it was kind of a good feeling for me. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Just keep on smiling. Just keep on spreading love all over. That's what I'm trying to spread through my vlogs. Okay, so let's start with today's vlog. Today's vlog is all about... Yes, today's vlog is all about India versus Germany. I am not trying to talk any bullshit. It is all true. And the things are that in this vlog, I am not trying to, you know, talk bad about my country or bad about Germany. So just keep in mind that this vlog is not going to be something very... Uh, anyone's hurting anyone's feeling or something like that okay so let's start with this vlog now we always keep on talking about the cleanliness in india while cleanliness in germany that we th we always think that india is a lot has a lot of dirt has a lot of garbage on the roads but it's it's again the same with germany as well the cleanliness in germany uh, is good accepted but there are cigarette birds all over the places there are dog poops sometimes on the streets and i think that is the worst kind of uncleanliness of germany but still india is coming up with its cleaning stuff uh, miss our honorable prime minister narendra modi uh, he is coming up with that swachh bharat abhiyan and i hope that is working very well in india so i think germany and india are kind of you know level but maybe germany is a bit clean than India but let's hope for good for India as well that says the point number two this is all about the street dogs in Germany there are no street dogs and in India there are a lot and lot of street dogs I think there are people dying by street dog bites and it is getting worse in India so I hope India does something for that but there are no street dogs in Germany so at nights if you are uh, walking through the roads uh, and it is uh, very dark don't get uh, you know you can't you don't have to think about oh no oh shit there would be street dogs they would kind of uh, they can bite me or something because that are the thoughts when you are walking on the streets of Indian roads at dark nights germany is known for alcohol that is the beer right germany is known for beer so uh talking about the age limit for the alcohol consumption in india it is 21 but in germany it is 18 yes it is 18 when you are 18 uh, they I think they think that the kids have become adults and they can drink now so by the age of 18 one can consume alcohol all kind of alcohol not, not just beer which has a low percentage of alcohol limit but they can consume all other alcohol things I think vodka rum and whatnot but in India it is 21 uh, we are at point number five now 
One hour later. Yeah, I lost uh, the counting. Sorry, we are at point number four. So point number four is all about eating habits or the food in Germany and India. Um, if you have missed the vlog of food in Germany, it will blink somewhere over here or here. Okay. And if you have any doubts, you can watch that vlog. And talking about food in India, uh, as you all know, Indian food is spicy or very tasty. And it can, if you want, you can just ask for less spicy whenever you are in India. But in Germany, the food, the link you can watch. And the thing is that in Germany, the food is a bit, um, you know, they add just salt and pepper. That's it. That it i think those are the only spices they use in germany and i and i myself i am not attracted to that kind of food because all my 18 years of my life i have been staying in india and i have been eating all that spicy food which has the great taste and the strong aroma of that food and so there is no comparison because people who, have, who would be staying in Germany since 18 years, they would be lo uh, loving their food. And when I am staying in my country, I would love my food. So there is no comparison between these things, but still. Okay, as we are talking about food, uh, this point number five is actually about the eating habits. In India, it is a traditional way of eating by your hands and not by the spoons or forks or knife. In India, we do not, most of us do not eat by that. I don't know about the higher classes, uh, but I think we almost everyone eat uh, by our hands. And I think that is the best way uh, to actually get the taste of the food and not by the golden spoons, which you eat. But in Germany, no one eats by hands. They eat by their spoons forks knives and i don't know uh, that is the tradition maybe in germany but in india hands and in germany forks and spoons we are now at point number six actually the thing is that before starting with point number six i want to tell you that uh, this vlog would be divided into two parts part one this will be the part one and part two would be coming on monday so please subscribe to this channel and let's start with the Point number six. Point number six is the climate of India and climate of Germany. As you know, India is um, a very big country and there are all types of climates available in India. Um, so in a northern part of India, uh, it is very cold. It is not very cold, but the summers are pleasant, no doubt. Uh, but it, the northern part of India has a climate, uh, I would say, equal to Germany because Germany is all the time cold. Even, I'll come to that to the next point. And then the mid part of India, that is the hottest part of, I didn't know, it is the hottest part because of the desert region in Rajasthan and that part. And Mumbai. Mary Jan. Okay. So Mumbai, uh, the monsoons of Mumbai. Uh, but monsoons in Germany, there is no season named as monsoon in Germany because the whole 12 months, it just rains, rains and rains. It every time rain. I don't know why it, uh, but all the time it just keep on raining all over the year. Why? But in Mumbai, we have this season, the monsoon season, and that is a span from June to September, October. And that is the best span of the year. I just love Mumbai monsoons. And then the southern part of India, that is the hot, but it is a coastline, so it is kind of cool as well. But compared to Germany, it is all time cold. Maybe the, win the winters in Germany are very cold. Um, there is spring which is right now so happy springs for to everyone who is uh, watching this vlog in germany and the springs are kind of hot but kind of cool as well so it is a pleasant climate and the summers yeah talking about the summers in germany if you are a person from india uh, and if you have ever been to mumbai in winters okay so the winters in mumbai are the winter are the summers in germany Yes, the summers in Germany are the Mumbai winters. That is so kind of 
because when i was in mumbai i used to feel in winters sometimes i used to feel very cold but right now when the summers would be coming over here i would be very i would rather be feeling very very pleasant because of the temperature between 20 to 30 degree celsius it would be kind of pleasant i hope so because it is very humid in germany but let's hope for good and with this vlog uh, with this set i will end this vlog uh, i hope you are subscribed to this channel because on monday we are coming with the part two of india and germany india versus germany i think so i think there is no point given to like India is having these many points, these many points to Germany. No, it is just kind of thing that I am trying to compare India with Germany and coming up with the similarities of India and Germany. So I hope in part two, I you guys get more information about it. And with this said, guys, I'll take your leave. Please keep on smiling. Please keep on having or spreading love in this world and i hope you're having a great planned weekend ahead because this is tu this is saturday oh i'm so confused this is saturday so just keep a good smile on your fish and with this set i'll take a leaf bye